Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Jenna here and I am coming to you today to do a little collective haul. Actually, no, not a little. Um, this one that you see right in front of you um, is coming from two different shops that are on Instagram. And the flowers that you see come from Tay, who is Cuddle Me Clay Flower Shop on Instagram. And then the beads and the dye um, is coming from Goldie Charm One. So let me go ahead and share the flowers with you. These, um, like I said, come from Tay. There's her shop name right there. I will have her information linked in the description box below. But just wanted to share these because they're just so pretty. Um, I just love Tay's flowers. And I, I really like how she packages up everything. Um, I believe she showed one time how she makes her cards with her Cricut, if I'm correct. And so the, I really liked this uh, tree on here. I really just thought that was a cute touch to add. Um, so yeah, so these are uh, white, pink, and like the teal or the mint green, and then um, red. And then the red has got like a gold, I, I want to say like a Wink of Stella. And if it's not Winka Stella, maybe some other really fine, um, fine liquid glitter glue or something. But it's so very pretty. And she's got the gold flat back gems in the center of those. And then this pack is just all blue and white. And then she's got the um, clear flat back gems on these. But look at how cute they are. How The little flower in the center of these. Just love it. And so those are were the two packs that I got. She had her Christmas, her flower Christmas sale, um, not last week, but the week before. And so I just got them one day last during the week. And then she sent the free gift, and it's this um, sequence Christmas sequence mix. So thank you for that, Tay, so much. I appreciate it. And then so like I said, the second one is coming from. Goldie Charm one. Um, and I picked up, she had this, this die here. She sells, um, mainly, mainly bee, bee kits. Um, and she, what she does is she create the bee kits to, um, coordinate with different, um, paper collections. And then, like I said, she'll have like dies and, um, with the bead kit uh kit sometimes she'll have like the ephemera or like a six by eight or a six by six paper pad um and different embellishments i guess to go along with her big kit but i thought this was really cute so i was able to get this one from her and then she had this pink christmas bead kit so here's all the beads that came with the kit and you know i'm not I don't remember how much um, her bee kits are. I'm sorry, but I will have her information linked in the description box as well. But in with the beads came all these little charms. And when I saw the bead kit and I saw that she had all these little charms in it, I knew right away I had to have it because I was looking. Um, this little pink deer came from Hobby Lobby in their Christmas um, section. And it came in, in a pack of four. And I had saw them. And then when I went back, um, I didn't see them. And so I was really sad. So this is like one of the main reasons why I picked up this kit. And then these little deers right here. Really cute. And when I saw these, I was like, oh yes, I have to have this kit. And I'm so happy that I was able to get it. So that, and then all these other charms you see here, um, I'm not going to pick them all up and share because my Hobby Lobby is um, a big one. So I'm going to push these aside and get my Hobby Lobby. Um, my Hobby Lobby is actually three different, um, three different trips. So this... I got, um, see Hobby Lobby had their, 
when their Christmas stuff first start went on sale for 50%, I went in and I got these. <clears throat> and it comes from my, my little Christmas section. And um, I wind up picking up two of these. And then, like I said, I was sad. And I went back and I just so happened to be able to grab the last set of these. So I was so happy that I was able to get that. So that was just, um, and I think I had picked up some paper that day, but I have already used the, the paper for something else. So I'm not going to share the paper, but that was, um, a one day trip. And then, um, this week I went out with, uh, Denise, who, um, is solo crafts here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Um, me and Denise are, are really good friends and, it was my birthday on Thursday, so we met up and um, did a little shopping and then went to lunch. But from Hobby Lobby, um, I had picked up some more some more Christmas stuff that I'll show you in a minute. But first, I want to show you this acrylic confetti that I picked up. Um, I have been wanting to get these for a while because... I've seen different people use these as feet on different 3D projects. So I picked these up and got those. And then I went um, in the bead section and um, just picked up a couple of different things that I had um, know I was going to be able to use for Christmas. And um, so I had got these. This, like I said, I have a couple of Christmas collections that have this blue and the the blue in it. So I picked up those. And then I picked up these. These are really pretty. Now I got these because I do happen to have a couple of pieces of um, Frank Garcia. A couple of years ago I went and I have a couple of pieces of... Christmas paper, um, country, Christmas in the country or something. I don't quite remember, but I picked these up because I wanted to use those couple of pieces of paper to do, um, to do a rack this year. So I'm going to be working on something and creating, using these beads because they, um, go good with that paper. Um, and it's, like I said, that, that collection is quite, quite a few years old. And then I got um, a couple more my Christ um, things from My Little Christmas. I picked this up to go, like I said, with um, the Frank Garcia's collection. I thought this would be pretty with that, to do something with that. And then in their jewelry section, I, they had these in the jewelry shop was 50% off. So I got those. thought that would be cute to put in some shakers for Christmas. And then I picked up these Santa shakers. These were really cute. They had a couple of other ones, um, but I just happened to get the Santa. So I got those. And then um, all their Christmas stuff is 50% off now. So I picked up a few more Christmas stickers. Not like I needed them, but I thought this was really cute. So I got those. And then I really like puffy stickers. And so I picked up these because they're ti the tiny little puffy stickers I really like because I like to add them, layer them up on rosettes and different um, embellishments. But those were really cute. So I got those. And then my grandson um, is really into nutcrackers. And um, so I thought these would be really cute too be able to add to one of his Christmas page. So that's why I picked these up. And then they had their felt squares 50% off. And so I picked up a couple of these. These are the stiffer felt squares, but um, they have a shimmer to them, the glitter. And so I picked up a couple of these because I thought this would be really nice to cut out Christmas trees. Um, either for Christmas or a, a winter scene. And then 
This was a separate trip, but I have a funny story about this. I picked up three of these. I got these on um, on Thursday. Because um, when I met with Denise, we were in the jewelry section and I saw these. And I thought they were just so cute um, and thought it would be really cute to add these in with um, some swaps and, and things that, um, uh, things, not things, but, um, oh my God, my mind just went blank. Challenges where people were asking for sequent mix. I thought it would be cute to send these in with the sequent mix because we're all, not all, but... A lot of us are sending spoons in with our mixes. So I, like I said, I was with Denise and I had picked up two of them. They only had a couple there, but I picked up two of them. And as we're going through the store, I was like, you know what? I'm getting too much stuff. Um, let me just put one back for right now and just get one. So I put one back and... Thought I was getting one, got home and went to go put all my stuff away and realized I didn't have the spoon anymore. And I was like, oh my God, what happened to the spoon? So I looked at the receipt and I wasn't even charged for it. So I don't know what happened to the one I thought I was getting, but um, I just thought they were so cute and had to have them that I went back the next day to um, back to Hobby Lobby and picked up and they they had three. So I wound up just getting all three of them because I didn't want to take the chance of, oh, I should have gotten more because I want to, you know, use it for a swap or a, a challenge. So I got three of them. These were not on sale. They were regular price and they were um, $2.99 for them. Sorry. So yeah, so that's my um, Hobby Lobby haul. I do have one more that I want to share um, while I was with Denise after we left Hobby Lobby we went to the Dollar Tree to see if we can find anything anything good in there and um, they wind up not having any good Christmas stuff I went in there to look for Christmas stuff and um, I wind up finding these I um, am on my like last row of these so and I've been looking for these for a while and I'm mad I only got one I should have got more of these because I have a hard time finding them and these are the um, double-sided puff up um, foam tape so I got that and then um, I got the the mini glass containers I picked up two of these because I've been looking for these for a while and finally saw these as well now, um, I live in San Diego, California, and um, Denise actually lives like about two hours away from me. And so we meet up in a town called um, Temecula. And so um, when I saw those glass bottles, I grabbed them because I've out here in San Diego, I've gone to several different <clears throat> several different Dollar Trees looking for those and, and haven't been able to find them. But as we're walking around the store, I saw these and thought these were really cute to have. Um, you know, they're just blank notes. I don't like to make cards. And when I don't have to, I just send a store-bought gift, um, not gift card, a store-bought card in with my swaps or challenges. And then I picked up this box. Um, I have been looking for this box as well for a couple of weeks. Ever, si ever since I saw um, oh my gosh, I forgot who it was. Um, I want to say Barry Crafty. I believe that's her name. She created a truck using um, the trucks from the, the Dollar Tree, the wood trucks from the Dollar Tree in one of these crates. And when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to do that. So I've been looking for this box. Um, I had already had the Christmas truck from the Dollar Tree with the Christmas tree on the back. But once I got this home, this was actually too big for that particular truck. So now I'm gonna be looking for just the plain regular. Um, the the wooden truck that doesn't have anything in the bed of it. 
So yeah, um, this is everything. I do have um, I do have another haul that I will probably do tomorrow because I have quite a few dies that I wanted to share that I got from Amazon. But I'll do that tomorrow because this was quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I just want to thank everybody for being here. And um, just want to remind everybody that I do have a... Um, a birthday challenge going on where all you have to do is a VR. So if you're interested, please go over to um, my videos and check that out. And until next time, I just hope everybody stays healthy and safe and may God bless. Thank you and bye-bye.